Top five, uh, we're asking top five questions at Shoe Clack that we ask all our bands. Uh, first question, I have this one memorized. Um, growing up, uh, what did your folks listen to and how did it inspire you in any way? My dad likes opera music and it didn't inspire me in any way. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, my stepdad likes really like typical like classic rock, which is cool. So. Like the Zeppelin. Beatles and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and that kind of stuff. My mom, she had like a, she liked that. She also liked uh, hippies. Hippies. She liked uh, what's it called? She had a Tracy Chapman CD, and I thought that was super sick. Yeah. Um. All right. Next question. Um. What's your favorite festival memory? Doesn't mean the festival you played, but what's your first memory? Fa favorite memory at a festival? <laughs> well, okay. Today. We were, we were hanging out with a dog, and Ezra lifted up the dog, and we are like, yo, airlift. Cause airlift. Because that, that's what it's called when you lift up a dog. <laughs> and then uh, I remember we were at a festival in Indiana. It was outdoors, sunny day. All these people with dogs was like, yo, everybody lift your dogs up. Hold your dogs up. And everybody did for some reason. Yeah, so, so everyone was like this, holding their dogs up. That's pretty memorable. That was good. I that's a, that was funny. Okay, well, what, do you remember any, uh, what's, your, what's your first memory that comes to mind when you think about me, Mikey? Um, I don't know if I should say. <laughs> or one of those nights. All right, next question. Okay, so um, if you had to choose like one artist, dead or alive, that could cover uh, a top song, who would you choose? Cover a top song. Maybe the singer from the Zombies. The Zombies. They're here at the Great Escape too, eh? Really? Really? I don't know if it's the same zombies, but they're in the schedule. <laughs> they're literal zombies now. Yeah, no, they're really old. <laughs> but yeah, zombies is a good one. Anything else, David? Um, <laughs> Superstar star. It'd be really tight to have Gwen Stefani sing one of our songs. Yeah, oh shit! Be that's Walking a better one. in the spider <laughs> web. That's fucking weird. Uh, yes. Next question. Um, tell us about your shoes and uh, why are you wearing these to play at your show tonight? Any specific reason? These are the only shoes that I have with me. And uh, I've been trying to like run and stuff, or like, whatever. I feel like I can maybe run in these. Well, I have been. I'm not sure if they're like totally good for that, but it's an all-purpose. Why know. do you keep a spoon in your in your shoe? I noticed you had a spoon. Oh. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question. Like he at it again. <laughs> uh, the rule I have with shoes and my current outfit is that I have these pants that I wear every day, and then. I have either a t-shirt or a shirt with buttons. If the shirt's got buttons, I wear these shoes. And if I'm wearing the t-shirt, I wear the sneakers. Can you repeat that again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're called Shoe Clack here. That's what we're doing this for. That's what um, What do you think the word Shoe Clack means? Uh, maybe it's some kind of like French Canadian style of music with wooden shoes, made with wooden shoes. I was saying tapping your toes to keep it in time. It's like Shoe Clack Clack. It's like that. Is that one? No. Hey. Yo, what's up? Yo. Hey, everybody. Tops, Great Escape with Shoe Clack. I love you guys. Go jam in there. I'll be right there watching you. I'm going to smell your armpits afterwards. I love doing that. You're great. Shoe Clack, we're out. Your zipper's down, Ezra.